weighing in at 210 pounds, from Buffalo, Iowa, Tyler Black! Come on! And his opponent, weighing in at 172 pounds, from Council Bluffs, Iowa, Jason Well, thank goodness for that. Ben Saylor joining me ringside here for this matchup. Tyler Black returning to the state of Minnesota. Not too much of a thunderous salvation for him, but Jason Strafe, on the other hand, very much loved, very much adored by the crowd here in Minnesota. First Avenue, first wrestling. Two Iowa guys in the ring. The crowd loves Jason Strife. You got two of the best from Iowa here. And you're wondering why they kind of come to Minnesota to face each other. But that's what first wrestling is all about, bringing the best matches, the best wrestlers to the fans. You got that right. They have brought in some people from around the country, from the Midwest, from throughout the region, really, to entertain the fans. Some people you may not have seen. You've certainly seen Tyler Black, his appearances for MTV Wrestling Society X and his three short years of professional wrestling, he has already amassed a successful career as an IWA Mid-South light heavyweight champion and the 8AW heavyweight champion. He's winning matches right and left. What a win-loss record he's already got. He also has a great tag team going with Jimmy Jacobs in Ring of Honor. Absolute one of the top, top two talents here in the Midwest facing off. And Jason Strife. Jason Strife has so quickly impressed everyone here in first wrestling. He had a huge upset win over Eric Cannon not too long ago. And right, right now he rolls up Tyler Black for two, a deep arm drag, and another, oh my God. Oh, a deep, big drop kick. Ricky Steamboat's got nothing on those arm drags. He's clearing the crowd like Moses burning the Red Sea. the crowd. Come on, first down! They love him. Interesting fact here, these two have never locked horns inside the squared circle before. This is the first matchup between two top stars. We'll see how it comes out. That's amazing. That's really amazing. You know, Tyler Black was trained by Danny Daniels. Jason Strife, on the other hand, trained by Hype Gotti and the Jaden Dragon. So really distinctive styles that they both came from. And this yeah. is just already a great matchup early on in the match. Well, Jason Strife being the smaller guy's gonna have to prove himself, show that he has the heart to take this match all the way. And what heart he has, too. Every time out, he just, he electrifies the crowd. He's got such a positive fighting spirit. And, and he just seems like he really enjoys being in there against anybody he can get his hands on. Oh my God! Top rope to the floor. I have never seen someone like that. Just straight over the top rope. And his neck just seemed to snap as he was flopping over it. I think he's... Tyler Black right outside. Big boot to the face. You know, despite Tyler Black's comments, he is an incredibly fierce competitor, extremely talented. He's in tremendous condition. And he, and he really deserves to be on the upper echelon in the Midwest here. And he's certainly getting to that standpoint. Well, there's no doubt about the talent of Tyler Black here. Uh, it's just a matter of if Jason Strike can overcome the size differential and, and come up with some move. And he has his own some move that can overcome this. Not oh my God. God, just about decapitate Strife as he climbs back in the ring. Tyler Black taking charge of the ring, pulling Strife in by the boot, goes for the cover one and only two, and a short two at that. Black has been in the ring with the likes of Rhino and Nigel McGinnis, Jerry Lynn, had huge feuds. 
with Josh Abercrombie and of course Merrick Brave. No doubt he knows what he's doing in the ring. He's an excellent uh, tactician. He knows exactly how to control the pace of the match and make it his match. You know, there are a few individuals that you see in professional wrestling that right out from the outset have the it factor. You look at him and you say, this person's going to make it big. Tyler Black is definitely one of those people, especially with a drop kick like that. Standing, and he just drives his foot to the neck of Stray as referee Ricky Reed makes the count. Doesn't seem to phase him one bit. Tyler Black does not care what Ricky Reed has a say in there. He's, he's going to control this match to make it his match. And Natty is doing as he picks up Stray, backs him into the corner right now. He goes for the whip. Stray hits hard. Oh my! Just dumps out of the corner. Favoring his back. He could take one heck of a beating in the ring, though. I've tagged with this guy around Minnesota. He's one of the toughest out there. He could take a heck of a beating. That's one hole. That's a great hole that Tyler Black has on him there. Well, it's really a great way to follow up, too, with that whip into the corner. He's got a foot in the small of his back, pulling back on his jaw. Now he's wrenching into his mouth. He's got a fish hook locked in there. Shades of Mad Dog for Sean. You know, Strife, Strife has had incredible success already, too. A former NWA Midwest X Division champion. He's faced people such as Sanjay Dutt, Matt Seidel, Eric Cannon himself. He, he's gotten his fair amount of victories as well. That's true. He's faced some of the best around, but now he's facing Tyler Black, uh, another one of the great competitors from Iowa. I think it just says a lot about the promoters here at First Wrestling scouring all over the U.S. to see who they can bring in something fresh. People that haven't been seen around here before. People that really have the goods and can deliver an exciting match. And these are just very accomplished individuals, tremendous credentials, and a hell of a great wrestling background. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tyler Black showing his supremacy of the ring. He's going to slow it down. Just keep beating on him. That's all he can do. But Strife can take it. There's no doubt he can take the beating. And you know, sometimes people question why do they keep going for pins back to back without laying the guy up? And it's simple because you're forcing the man to push you off him. You're exerting your energy to get his weight off of you. Time and time again, that alone can wear you out. People don't, people don't realize how much energy it takes just to kick out of a hole. Uh, you know, you spend a lot of energy just getting him off you. And uh, that's what Tyler's doing, staying on top of strike, not letting him get anything in. And the more that other individual puts their body weight on top of you, the less oxygen you're going to get because your body is compressed into a smaller package. And Tyler Black just gets a nice little rest. And Strife just keeps coming back, though. He's got a fighting spirit, like we said earlier. Absolutely no quitting, Jason. No quitting. He may only be 170 pounds, whatever he is. It doesn't matter. He's not going to give up. He's going to fight to the floor. Stiff. And a knee to the gut from Black, and he backs Strife into the corner. Goes for another whip. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, what's he gearing up for now? Oh! Elbow in the corner goes up to the top. Oh! God strike catches him right in the gut with that savant kick. And Black is reeling in the ring. This could be the opportunity oh. strikes and waiting for now. That is the open door. He's got to take advantage of it. He's got to get something in there. Shake it off and get up. You don't get opportunities like this too often with Tyler Black. You have got to capitalize on it. And that's what he's doing right now. Forearm shivers and another Savat. Oh, ho, ho. He's got the momentum of the crowd. He's got to keep it going. Channels all that energy in and a kick to the get from Black. Black himself goes to the rope. Strife follows him in. Another clothesline. Black throws him down. 
at that. It looked like that was absolutely a three count. This is Strife's moment right here. He needs to capitalize. Oh. Black, find his way out. Oh, there's that Pele and Zagari. My God. Flips his body around. Oh. If you no. study Tyler Black, you know he's going to go for head and neck. He's looking for a oh. finisher of his. God's last gift. It's a small package brain buster. He needs to set up that head and Second time in less than two minutes. I thought Strike was going to pull up the upset of his career. Come on, Fox! Yeah! The upset of his career came with over Eric Cannon several months back. He was able to pull one out, but this would be equally as big a win over Tyler Black. You got that right. Goes to whip Tyler into the corner. Black reverses and charges him. Strike ducks out and a kick from from Strike to the back of Tyler Black's head. Jack! Oh, it's a drop kick. This could be it. Oh, Mike, once again. So close. One part of Strike's game that's a little lacking, and maybe it's just me, his submission game right now. He can look for a submission. He has to either down on the ground, he can something in. Referee Ricky Reed's really doing an outstanding job here, too. He, he is counting it right down the center there. Well, looks like Strike's gonna go back to his, his mainstay in his offense, that high-flying, top-rope stuff. This is it, oh, Black takes advantage of a moment's rest. Crotches, Strife in the corner, scoops him into the center of the ring. Oh, spoke that huge. Oh, my God. Strife had his steam coming right back at Black. Ducking two. Takes him and kicks him in the face. Books him. This could be it. Oh, that's God's last gift. That is it. Three count. Right here. First wrestling. Here we go. Winner of the match. Tyler. The